We're now going to reinstall the cam chain tensioner. As you can see, it is extended. So I take a small screwdriver, put it in the end, and turn it clockwise while keeping a little pressure on the end. Keep turning it until it's completely retracted. Give it a little nudge, and it'll lock it there so that you can install it. Now again, it'll torque that to 10 foot-pounds. Now I can go in and release the tensioner. Just turn it counterclockwise, just the eighth of a turn, and let it spin down. Now it puts proper amount of tension on the cam chain. Then we'll reinstall our cap screw and just tighten it securely. Now we're going to rotate the engine around here. And then using our 17 millimeter wrench, we're going to rotate the engine forward, be on the mag side looking at it counterclockwise. While holding our cam chain, we're going to rotate it 270 degrees until we get the R mark in the inspection hole on the magneto cover. We should now be at top dead center on the rear cylinder. There again, we can go in through the spark plug hole and we know that the piston is there at the top dead center. Right, now we can install the camshaft that since we've verified we're at top dead center and I verified that I have the right camshaft in my hand. Remember the cut side towards the camshaft. Make sure that the camshaft is parallel with the head and Next, we make sure we have the small hole going over the pin on the camshaft. And install the chain. And we'll bring it up and we'll see how far off we are. You can see it's not parallel with the head anymore. I have to remove it. And I'm going to go two links. Now I'm parallel with the service of the head again. Now I can install my retainer over top of the pin here. Loctite on my cap screws. As you can tell I'm using a little red Loctite. I'm going to finger tighten that. I'm going to use my 17 millimeter wrench on my left-handed cap screw in the crankshaft. Turn the engine over. So I can install my other cap screw into the cam sprocket. Apply a little Loctite to the cap screw. And while holding the crankshaft with my 17 mm wrench, I'll torque this to 10 foot pounds. And then I'll bend my lock tab up and continue to turn the engine over again. I'll torque this to 10 foot pounds. And then we'll come in and bend this lock tab. And again, we're going to use the contact cleaner, clean the surfaces, clean the cap, the cam cover as well. Again, be sure to put some lube in on the camshaft journal areas. Put a little bit of grease on there, a little on the rocker arms as well. Verified again, I'm at top dead center, and my lines are marked up again. Parallel with the head, um, install the C-ring. And then install our seal, opening down again, or up. I'm going to apply a little sealant to the cam cover. Be sure to look through these two holes again to make sure that our rocker arm shafts haven't fallen because there's a notch in them where they have to go through to align and the bolts that go through here to hold the cam cover on lock them so they don't rotate. And we look good there so now I can install my
cam cover. Then we're going to take the long cap screws with the washers on, those in the center, four holes. Two silver ones, they'll go in where the dowel pins are. Two long shank ones, they'll go in over top of the camshaft. And then two regular shank screws, cap screws will go in to these two corners. Now I'll we'll tighten those to 10 foot pounds. And we'll do that in the crisscross pattern. Now that we have those tightened, we can go ahead and do the valve adjustment on the intake and the exhaust again. Putting the tool on, finding the jam nut, finding the adjuster, and then loosening the jam nut, making sure it's free. Run it in until it feels resistance. Align the handle again, and we're going to go out two marks, indicating that we went 4,000 clearance. And then on the exhaust, we want to go six thousandths, so two, four, six. We have those locked in place, and we can then install our tappet covers. There again, we'll tighten these to 10 foot pounds. Now we're going to install our cam chain tensioner. We have it retracted already. Torque those to 10 foot pounds. We have to go in here and release that. Let's put the proper tension on it and install our cap screw. Tighten securely. Now we can install our inspection plug. Remove our left handed cap screw out of the crankshaft. And then take a little bit of black silicone, put a little dab here, here, and here, and then reinstall our rubber plug and wipe clean. Now that's how you properly time the camshaft to the crankshaft on an H2 engine.